My wonderful husband made this little board display for me after I showed him one that was very similar from Hobby Lobby. Uh, except the one from Hobby Lobby was pretty small, it was maybe a 4x6 or 5x7 and in a vertical fashion. I wanted a bigger one and this is 8x10. So the board prep first started with just white gesso, letting it dry and then sanding it smoother. I'm going to be doing a crackle finish on every area except for the front side. So I first applied a darker color. This is Faux FX, um, one of the Van Dyke Brown is the name of it. So I painted it first and then on the edges I wanted a little thickness just to give some more texture. Salt wash, mixing that with paint will do that for you and you can mix it pretty thickly. I just did an average thickness here and applied it to some of the edges. Pintart is an, a European company. Um, I love their products, three of which are crackles, different types of crackles, and I'm so grateful now because you don't have to order from a foreign country to get Pintart anymore. There are several United States stockists uh, distributors of Pintart, L&J Goods being one of them. Now with this crackle, the wonderful part about Pintart's crackles is that when you're applying step two, um, in some cases it's a component to, but this is a step one, so this, the second step is applying paint. But the wonderful part about that is you don't have to worry about the direction in which you apply that second component, in this case paint. Now here I'm using a mixture of a brush, which gives you larger cracks in a linear fashion. But here and there, I'm also using a sponge brush to apply the paint, which gives you smaller, tighter cracks. Over the crackle side of the board, I'm going to be applying a paint inlay from Iron Orchid Designs, uh, but it is just a single element, and to give more interest, I wanted to have something kind of in the background, so I decided to um, use some of the stamps from the Holly Jolly Stamp Collection, which came out in 2020. I'm using various Deco Art Metallics to use a sponge brush to apply um, to the different stamps. I'm not really wanting a lot of distinctness to it, just kind of a light background. However, you'll see in a minute that there wasn't quite enough. So leaving those stamps on the thin mount as I've done here, 
I was also able to remove the paint and apply some brown archival ink and go right back over it to give some definition there for the different stamps. IOD's paint inlays are a fairly new product and they're absolutely wonderful. Now normally you apply the inlay uh, using a layer of paint, uh, which I have done in a previous video where I was doing uh, the Bird of Paradise dresser. But there are times when you have a finish that you don't or can't put paint on top of it or it will ruin your finish just like I have here. So the inlays can also be applied using a sealer. Here I'm actually using uh, DIY liquid patina to apply the inlay. You don't wait nearly as long uh, to remove the inlay when using a sealer, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, pretty much just as soon as it's dry. But I'll let you watch the process as I go along here. I don't have video footage of casting the ornaments there on the left from the IOD bobbles mold, but I basically used two-part resin. Um, I don't know what happened to that video, but anyway, you've probably seen a lot of castings before by me, so it's really not necessary. But with what I'm doing here, I also wanted to create two more ornaments. I like to look at all kinds of ideas and I 
received the Balsam Hill catalog. You know, all those junk mail mailers you get in your mailbox. And in the back, there was a picture of some woodland, acorn type, or pine cone type ornaments. Here's a quick picture. So what I wanted to create here was a teardrop ornament with a pine cone mold on the top, which you'll see me use an IOD mold here in a little bit. But to get that rounded feature, uh, rather than using solid clay, because it would be pretty thick, I decided, and I didn't want it to crack, I decided to use a egg-shaped styrofoam ball and I'm cutting to make it look like a teardrop. For the other ornament, I'm using the other side of the egg-shaped styrofoam ball thingy <laughs> to make an acorn. And you'll see me working on that. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate 
gave you a little smattering of how I painted the various baubles. Um, I also added a little bit of a rust texture. I actually have a product from my faux finishing days from faux effects that is rust texture, but you could honestly get the same appearance by just using paint and mixing with a little bit of uh, baking soda, and that's going to give you that gritty look. I just dabbed it on here and there. Well, now I want to add some pine cone little pieces to the top of two ornaments but those little baubles had an indentation there so the first thing I did was glue on a little bit of clay to kind of fill that little gap and then I'll glue on the little pieces of pine cones.
Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old sign For old lang sign, my dear, for old lang sign. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of old lang syne. And here's a hand, my trusty friend, and just a hand of thine. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet for all. Should all 